hello everyone and welcome back to another adobe illustrator tutorial so in this video i'll show you how you can create this gaming text effect in adobe illustrator so let's remove this text effect first and let's start creating from scratch the font i'm using for this text effect is long shot and the font size will be 115 point Let's center this to the artboard and next click on this none to remove the fill color and then we'll go to appearance panel. Here click on this icon add new fill. Next let's, let's fill this layer with radial gradient and let's change the color of these points. Select this point and let's add color to this one. Let's fill this with this color add another point and fill this with this color add one more point and change the color to this one let's set the locations of these points first select this point and change the location to 50 percent select this point and change the location to 37 percent and select this point and change the location to 6%. Next add one more point here and let's change the color of this point to this one. Add one more here and we'll apply this color to this point. Add one more here and we need this color to this point add one more point here let's change the color of this point to this one and let's change the color of this point to simple white and now let's change the location of these points select this point and change the location to 50.1 percent select this point and change the location to 61 percent select this point and change the location to 70 percent select this point and change the location to 80 percent and keep it at 100 percent next let's adjust this gradient let's keep it here for now and let's go to appearance panel next duplicate this layer and now select this layer then we'll go to gradient panel and apply a default black and white gradient and let's change this to radial gradient here click on this point and let's change the color of this point let's add one more point here and let's change the color add one more here and we need this color for this point add one more here and we'll apply this color to this point and now we need to change the point, color of this point so we have applied the colors to all points and let's change the location of these points first select this point and change the location to 23 percent then select this point and change the location to 50 percent now select this point and change the location to 50.1 percent and then we'll go to appearance panel here keep selecting this layer then we'll go to effect path and offset path here we'll apply a three pixel offset path and then click ok next we need to adjust the gradient this gradient let's adjust this gradient by the way if uh, if you want to select the gradient 
you can select this icon press on this icon and the gradient will be selected and the shortcut key for this is to press the G on keyboard let's adjust the gradient so the point is we have to adjust this gradient like we have adjusted the first one so let's adjust this like this I think this is looking good here I think this is looking good here next we need a stroke here so let's apply a 0.75 stroke to this text and let's change the color of the stroke this time we'll apply a gradient to stroke and let's apply default black and white gradient and let's change the angle to 90 next click on this point to change the color let's add another point here and let's change the color add another point here and change the color add one more here and one more here actually we'll apply white color here next let's adjust the location of these points select this point and change the location to 76 percent select this point and change the location to 60.1 percent select this point and change the location of this point 60 percent select this point and change the location of this point to 36 percent and we'll change the opacity of this point to zero percent next we'll go to appearance panel and here we'll add another layer we'll add another fill layer and let's drag this to top and then we'll go to gradient panel and change the gradient to default black and white gradient and let's add colors double click on this point and we need white color for this point and double click on this point and we'll apply this color change the color of this point to white and let's change the location we'll set 85 percent location for this point and we'll select this point and change the location of this point to 73 percent and we'll change the opacity of this point to zero next change the angle to 90 and then we'll go to appearance panel here click on this icon and then click on opacity and change the blend mode to 100% soft light and next we'll select this layer duplicate this select this layer and we'll apply this color to this layer then click ok next keep selecting this layer then go to effect distort and transform and transform and here in move section we'll keep the horizontal value to zero pixel and for vertical we'll apply a 0.5 pixel and we need 25 copies then click ok next keep selecting this layer and duplicate this layer now select this layer click on this arrow then click on transform change the copies to 37 and then click ok next click on opacity and change the opacity to 50 percent and let's close this next we need another layer 
and let's apply a simple pattern to this effect and click on this arrow then click on opacity and then change the blend mode to color dodge next click on this type then go to effect warp and arc lower then change the bend to minus 19 percent and we need a 10 percent vertical then click ok next select this layer and then go to effect stylize and drop shadow and here change the opacity to 80 percent keep the y value to 2 pixel and blur to 1 pixel and click ok and let's add another layer duplicate this and next we'll go to gradient panel apply a default black and white gradient and let's change the color and we need this color and let's apply the same color to this point and here let's change the location of this point to 82 percent and let's select this point and change the opacity to zero percent and change this uh, gradient to radial gradient then we'll go to appearance panel and here let's apply this color first let's change the blend mode to normal so we can see what's happening select this layer and let's adjust this gradient so I think this is looking good here so here is our final text effect look if you have learned something from this video please do like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching